live streamers face this problem that whatever is shown on stream, they are entirely responsible for, whether that be you pressing on a bad link by accident or an advertisement pops up and it's not safe for work and you accidentally show it to your stream, you're responsible for it. If you accidentally have a nip slip or anything of that sort, you're responsible for it. And there's nothing that you can do after you make that mistake. Your channel is gone, terminated. You might even get like a, a super long suspension if you're lucky, but for the most part, your career is over. Now that's a very fatal mistake because when you're making a YouTube video, for an example, I have total control over what goes out there. I record it with my camera. I can out certain words, I can chop out certain portions and I can blur out certain faces. I have total control over the video that's being outputted to YouTube. Now, when you're live streaming, you're assumed to these same responsibilities when you even have less control. You can't edit a live stream, it's live. Whatever you say, whatever you do, and whatever you show is there. You're going to face full responsibility for whatever is out there. And the issue is, we're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to say the wrong things and we're all going to do and show the wrong things to our stream eventually. If I stream for these next 10 years, it's guaranteed that I'm going to slip up and show something that might make my YouTube channel non-existent, which is a really scary thing to think about. So I have a solution for the owners of YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, anybody that has a live streaming service. The solution is this. You see how when a streamer goes live, there's like a three or four second delay usually between their real life body talking and moving versus their actual stream. So if I say hi, it's one, two, three, and then my stream sees me saying hi. Usually there's a three second delay. Now, in between that delay, if I accidentally show something like, oh my God, I just showed porn to my stream, my life is over. Instead, there should be a button on my keyboard or on my stream deck or anywhere on my desk that's an emergency button. I press this button and it puts an overlay on my YouTube stream or Twitch stream that blocks out the entire stream that says emergency and it makes the whole screen red for an example. And it also cuts out my voice for the next 10 seconds. Since I make the mistake, I only have three seconds until my stream sees it. So if I can press this button within three seconds of making that mistake, saying the wrong thing, showing the wrong thing to my stream, I could save my life, my YouTube channel, my career, everything just by pressing one button, the emergency button. It's very easy for YouTube to code this into their API. We can add it to our stream decks, we can add it to our keyboards, we can add it literally anywhere, we can make it a phone app, anything. As long as we press this one button, in between that three second delay, we can block out everything my stream sees and they won't see what happens. So my Streamlabs is still outputting that feed, but as it's being outputted, YouTube adds a block over it. So in those 10 seconds, everything is blocked. You can't see or hear anything. And that gives me time to obviously close out of the bad tab that I opened up, like a tab for an example, or if I say the wrong thing, I can press that button to save my career from the SJWs on Twitter. What is up? It's your boy Lucid. And today we're gonna be reacting to the top 10 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 trick shots. So let's get started. Please leave a like on the stream if you enjoy. Oh my fucking goodness. I forgot to close out of my tabs. Let me just uh, press that and we should be good now. So top 10 call. Of so let's get started. Please leave a If the streaming services just give us an emergency button to block out everything people see and hear for 10 seconds until we get our shit straight, because eventually we are going to make mistakes, that would solve the majority of streamers' problems. So please, owners of YouTube, Twitch, if you work there, if you know anybody that does work there, send them this video. Tell them about the emergency button because we make mistakes, you make mistakes, and eventually our mistakes are going to be caught on a live stream, whether we no, like it or not, it's just going to happen. So add that button, please. YouTube, please. Susan, I'm talking to you. Please. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> stay dreaming. Stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.